What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another Money of Toys video. Today, we are back with brand new AEW action figure news. Yes, we're back at it with the newsman and with Access, WrestleMania Access, that is coming very, very soon. The news is hot. We're getting hot here, and WrestleMania has nothing to do with AEW or AEW action figures, but... I just like to think about it and say it. Now, getting into it, man, as you guys know, Revolution is actually tomorrow night. And unfortunately, they are not doing a Revolution Fan Fest. As you guys remember, I think last year or like a year before, maybe they do it every single year. I can't remember off the top of my dome. They are not doing a Revolution Fan Fest where they show off all the new and upcoming AEW action figures. You know, Jazzwares isn't doing an event or any, you know, thing like that, which is very disappointing. And it really lets me down a little bit. You know, it's kind of bummerific. But at the same time, I guess they're putting a a lot of focus into you know the future and like different projects and things like that and I guess that kind of explains like the hiatus that explains why it's been quiet and why we haven't gotten a whole ton announced to us however today we have some brand new stuff and I just wanted to let you guys know there will not be a revolution fan fest unfortunately this year unless they were lying to me in which case I'm coming for you. Nonetheless, man, let's go ahead and get into it. AEW action figure news, man. Yesterday, we had a brand new ringside exclusive action figure two-pack unveiled to us, and it is none other than the AEW unrivaled Blood and Guts Dog Cutler match CM Punk and MJF ringside exclusive two-pack figure exclusive here. I'm very excited for this two-pack, man. I can't wait to show you guys, so let's dive into it. Of course, as it says, we are getting CM Punk and MJF from their iconic blood and guts not a blood and guts match their iconic dog collar match that they had in which it, it's probably you know it's a pretty historical AEW match you know people think about it very fondly I, th I think it was a great matchup very iconic legendary will be looked upon with fondness and as soon as we saw this I'm pretty sure we knew that it would be made into an action figure two pack. You guys know the Blood and Guts has a pretty rich history, especially ringside exclusive Blood and Guts, AEW Jazzwares, they all bundle it all up. The thing I'm most looking forward to probably with this two pack is probably the packaging. I think the packaging, just like the exploding barbed wire death match with Kenny Omega and John Moxley, this packaging is going to be ridiculous, I'm sure. But getting into the figures, man, let's start things off with the, the more iconic figure or the figure that people are probably most looking forward to is going to be CM Punk in his Ring of Honor inspired gear or his throwback gear here with the white shorts, with the blood stains all over it. I mean, CM Punk is a bloody mess right here, man. This figure is a bloody freaking mess, as Jim Ross would like to say. This figure looks insane, and I'm excited for this. And a lot of people were just excited to see a new CM Punk figure. You know, there was a lot of speculation. Are we ever going to get another CM Punk action figure from AEW and Jazzwares? Does this mean that maybe he's under a new deal? Does this mean that maybe he's not completely done. I know that, didn't they just unveil Unmatched Series 8, and wasn't he supposed to be a part of that with the Luminaries Collection? I'm not entirely sure here, but CM Punk getting a new figure here. White shorts, he's got the white tape, you got the bloody smeared face where he's yelling, you have the blood dripping down the chest, you have the wrist tape that is just covered in blood, the shorts are covered in blood, he's got the black kick pads, got the punk on one side, you got the straight edge X's on the other. These head sculpts look great. I love the hair sculpt, I like the detail. Probably gonna be pretty shiny for the the blood and you know things like that i like how the bangs are coming down across his face and then you have the other head sculpt where he's more you know serious but he's still bleeding and so you have like the yelling expression and then you have the serious pissed off expression and he's got you know his sweaty bloody nappy hair going down in front of his face got the beard there very cool head sculpts here i think it captures the likeness of punk i think it looks really really good and then of course you have mjf and his green gear here is very phenomenal as well he's got his hand tape he's bloody mess he's got a screaming head sculpt you have the blood on the shoulders you have the blood going down his arms and things of that nature it doesn't look like he has any blood on his gear at least from what i'm seeing here and I, that just rhymed unintentional but mjf here in his green gear i guess if you wanted to get a couple of these you could pop that torso off put a you know an mjf unmatched or unrivaled torso on there and you could get a fully green gear mjf figure without you know having any blood on it whatsoever but he's got the the bright green he's got his lines on there screaming expression white boots which i think is a better look for him in general but the screaming expression for me doesn't really look like mjf unfortunately he's got like a i don't know he kind of looks like he kind 
kind of has like a Colt Cabana look to him to me at least. At this juncture to me, he looks more like Colt Cabana, but who am I, you know? And that's kind of wild considering that it's a CM Punk two-pack, but the more serious, pissed off, like angry eyebrows look of MJF here looks a whole lot better in my opinion with the blood on there compared to the other one. And of course, I guess, yeah, you know, if you're going to try and convert this CM Punk, probably not going to be possible, you know? So uh, I guess you could try to acetone off the blood or paint over the shorts or something like that to try and get a, you know, a pristine or a before match rather than a post match slash during the match look for CM Punk. However, both these figures look good. I'm excited for the two-pack. I'm really excited to see what the packaging looks like. I think men on card, this set's going to be insane. I hope that both of them come with the dog collars like attached to them in the packaging. And you guys can see here, it comes with two different dog collars, it seems. And I just hope that they look really good in the packaging and you get all the details. I have no doubts that they're going to. I just, I, I'm envisioning it in my brain with the blood and the guts and like their names. And then you have like the blood splatter and then you could have like the dog collars attached to them both while in package would be really cool. I don't know if I'd want something like Jack's finishing moves where they're like actively wrestling, but just having the dog collars attached to both individuals while men on card with the blood and stuff like that would be a really beautiful display piece. But they do come with the dog collars. I'm pretty sure they'll come with interchangeable hands. They do have their interchangeable heads by far. So you're getting a lot with this pack. I'm interested for it. If you guys want this two pack, it is actually up for pre-order right now. And you need to go over there to ringsidecollectibleswrestlingfigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But not only are those guys up for pre-order, we also have Unrivaled Series 12. Now, one thing that's wild to me is we first saw these figures, like their prototypes, hand, their hand-painted prototypes were on display at All Out Fan Fest last year in September, and we are in March of the next year. So six months ago, we saw these figures on display in prototype form, and now they're just going up for pre-order. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that is a long AF time between a prototype action figure being on display, hand-painted prototype, and then going up for pre-order six months later and we still don't have them in hand. I could be wrong about that if anybody has any insight or any knowledge in that area. I'm just going based off like my past and like dealing with, you know, AEW action figures, WWE action figures in my past and, and just different things, seeing things at events and then, you know, later on them coming out. I want to say that's a long time between hand-painted prototypes shown off to actually going up for pre-order to actually being in hand. I feel like six months is a really long time because I feel like most of the time you would see like grayed out images or the prototypes, no paint whatsoever, and then... Then you'd get a pre-order maybe a few months, not six months down the road, and then you'd probably, I feel like you'd maybe have them in hand by six months, but not going up for pre-order, but these are probably coming any day now, and I could be wrong about that. I'm just trying to give some inside knowledge. You guys can let me know if I am correct there, but they did show off the render images of these figures. You know, John Moxley here, you have FTR, uh, Dax, Cash Wheeler's head sculpt still looks just like his unrivaled seven. These figures' head sculpts, to be so far removed from their last figures, which were dreadful, a lot of people didn't like those, fig those figures and to see them coming back out essentially kind of having like a re-release or a repaint of those exact figures with screaming expressions. I'm definitely going to be putting the screaming expressions on my figures because I think they look better but these are pretty much repaints of their former figures and uh, they didn't change the gear that much and their head sculpts are virtually the same so it's very I don't know man I just don't think that these figures are going to move very well the Moxley does look good I like the head sculpt and the gear solid uh, you know it's a, it's I don't know you guys can let me know we finally have our private party figures we've been waiting on these for a very long time I think it would be cool to get two sets of private party or a, maybe even three sets because you could put you know both members of private party in the white gear both members in the black gear and then have their mismatched gears as well so maybe that's something you want to do there I guess you don't need three there you can just mismatch them whenever you want but yeah that's something that uh, I think would be cool they do come with their shirts again don't know if those are gonna be cloth or rubber and then we also have Jamie Hayter which a lot of people have been waiting on like her boots a lot i think the figure's solid and again man it has been six months since we saw prototype hand-painted prototypes of these figures and now they're finally up here but these are all up for pre-order right now at ringside collectibles guys if you guys are interested definitely go grab these i want to know your thoughts on the blood and guts mjf and cm punk two-pack what are your thoughts on the unrivaled series
Series 12. And also, we did finally launch our new MDT shirt design on Pro Wrestling Tees. Link in the description below. You can go down there. Pro Wrestling Tees, my damn toy store. It has the new Vindication MDT shirt. So it's pretty much the Vindication logo, but it says MDT instead of Vindication, obviously. So that shirt design is available now, as well as our other shirts, the MDT Elite Collection, the Brad Adjustment, and the Champ is Here shirt. All available on Pro Wrestling Tees slash My Damn Toys. And you can check out our Patreon page. Huge shout out to our patrons over there, adding to it every single day. I appreciate you guys so very much. And we had a lot of signups the last couple days, so I greatly appreciate these guys. Huge shout out to The Fig Freak, Luis Garcia, Kevin Wright, my boy Dougie Nunya, Mark NWO, and Cade Herrera. Huge shout out to those guys for signing up for the Patreon over the last couple days. If you guys are interested in the Patreon bonus content, exclusive content, a Patreon exclusive will be launching this weekend, actually. It's going to be a full closet tour of all the closets where I have stored different action figures and collectibles around my home. If that interests you guys, we're going to be doing a Patreon exclusive video tour of my closets that will not be on YouTube anywhere. It's going to be a Patreon exclusive. I have three different closets in my house where I put any figures that I collect that are not able to go up on display. I put those in those closet storage until I get a bigger office or, you know, a basement or something like that in the future. And so I'm going to do a tour of all those closets to show off all the different collectibles and figures that are in these closets, kind of give you closet tours of all three closets. That will be a Patreon exclusive, and if you guys are interested in that, definitely check out the link in the description below to our Patreon page. But that is going to wrap up this video, guys. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Check out the merch and Patreon down in the description below. I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. We'll never